Alright, so right now I am at a dim sum restaurant here in Guangzhou, China. And I've decided that this week I'm gonna do another challenge. Now you've seen before in previous video, I've done a, you know some shopping around the grocery store, seeing what groceries are like. I also did a weekly challenge to see how low my weekly costs of food and things could be. This challenge is gonna be for those people that, you know, maybe they live here, they work here, and they're kind of lazy. I want to go out for dinner every night, or maybe let's say, let's say lazy, let's say uh, you, you're so busy you don't have a lot of time, or maybe you don't even know how to cook. These are for those people that come here, what it's going to cost to go out for dinner every single night, enjoy some food, Chinese food, um, yeah, another thing about this, it's going to be all Chinese food. I will do another one where I do all Western food or all food that isn't Chinese, but this one is going to be eating out every single day of the week all Chinese food to show you what the cost is like. So like I said, I'm in a dim sum restaurant for Sunday, first day of the week, and we're gonna go from Sunday to Saturday. This will probably be a little more on the higher end. Um, and yes, my wife is here with me, but we're gonna split the price for a single person to half of what the bill is, right? So let's go along, let's get some food, and let's see what the first day costs me and what we have to eat. First dish. I love this. It's like a spicy chili vinegar cucumber salad. That's the first one. Next dish is hargao. I love it. They have this at all your traditional Chinese places back home or Japanese, I should say, all you can eat buffets, but good old hargao. All right, my wife ordered this one's taro cakes. I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I've never ate them a lot. I've had them here or there, but taro cakes, so I'll give it a try. All right, so we got another um, targo type thing, except this one has abalone in it. Um, sometimes abalone is good, sometimes it's not. If you don't know what that is, go Google it right now. It's a seafood thing that looks like a lady's part. But uh, there you go, it's inside there. We ordered quite a few dishes, uh, so I don't know. We'll see what the price is like when we're done. We already paid one fee, but it's, they asked for a final call. So uh, yeah, we're, we're just, Eden. Okay, my wife really wanted these. I don't even know what they are. They're uh They look like donuts or I don't know, fried dough with sugar on it. Um I don't know. They look hot, so I'd probably burn myself when I eat it, but I'll try it. It looks it looks interesting. After taking a bite, quick look. It's basically the donut. It's like fried dough. Some of it's not cooked all the way through. I mean, it's cooked, but it's kind of soft. Hard to explain, but sugar all over it. Just basically a homemade donut. Okay, I'm a little confused about these. I thought they were sesame balls, but they look like little balls with sugar on it as well. So almost like the last one, almost like a donut. But let's have a look. That's what they are, and supposedly there's coconut on the inside. So I thought it was like a sesame ball with the red bean on the inside, but my wife said no coconut, no sesame on it, just sugar, and uh, man, a lot of this stuff is sweet like desserts. I can't really complain. Okay, they just bought the last few things. I've burnt my tongue so bad on these coconut balls, but got this one right here. It's a little different than I normally have. So supposedly that's a fried shrimp thing, and then we got some Seafood fried rice with pineapple. So that's it. So I'm gonna finish eating and then we'll look at the price and uh, see how much it ran me today. So all the food was pretty heavy. Um, as I thought, we're getting takeaways. I didn't even, touch, I barely touched the rice. It's just the friedness. So I'm gonna keep that rice for tomorrow at lunch. Even though I get lunch at work, sometimes it's just not that yummy. So I'm gonna come home tomorrow for lunch eat this fried rice and a little bit of chicken breast or whatever. And then tomorrow we go up for our next meal. I'm kind of full so I can't think about food right now, but uh, yeah, let me check what the price of tonight was. So the final total was 193 RMB for the two of us. So I'm gonna divide that by half and let's round up. So it's about 97 RMB to eat a bunch of food you can't even finish, dim sum, yummy. Now this dim sum place actually is not that great compared to other dim sum places I've been to. Uh, especially in the city of Guangzhou, there's so many, but it was something new we wanted to try. Kind of disappointed and let down in this one, but hey, I got a bunch of other Chinese food I'm gonna eat all week long. 
we kind of maybe rate them from one to seven at the end of the week, which one was the best, which one was the worst. So that's day one, Sunday at this dim sum restaurant. Uh, I'm kind of full, actually really full. All right, so it is Monday and I finished work. I went to the gym and it's time for dinner. So we went to one of the places in the mall that we go to, you know, once in a while, maybe once a month or a little more than that. And uh, let's have a quick look at the menu. A lot of different options. All affordable. I'm gonna go for the first thing, the jowza here. And then also, I think it's on the other side. Yes, there's two sides to it. I'm gonna go for the lemon chicken. Don't know what my wife is gonna get, but you'll see the final price. I mean, 24 RMB and 14 RMB. Pretty cheap, pretty affordable. So I'll show you the food when it gets here, and that is what I'm eating today on Monday. All right, so I ran over to the discount like corner store here that sells drinks on discount, and this is normally like 18, 20 RMB, but they had it for five RMB. So I love this, the Bundaberg or however you say that, pretty good. And the first dish got here. So, lemon chicken is pretty good. You know, I need extra protein, so the jowls is a little bit of carbohydrates, protein in that, and then I have the lemon chicken, which is my extra protein on the side. It's, no, I like it, it's delicious. And then you got these like, these cracker things. Pretty good to go with it too, so. I'm gonna start the first dish and wait for the jowls to get here. Yeah, the jowls come, so these are fried jowls, like fried dumplings. Got pork and leek inside. I find them delicious. My wife got some eggs and tomato. I can't stand this dish anymore. I have it too often at work. And then I got the la jiao to make this nice and spicy. Uh, and some vinegar. Kind of good to mix the two sometimes. So I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. Um, final price of this dinner for my food. That's what we're trying to count here. Let me open up my phone. Final price was, um, plus a drink, 47 RMB. So that's under $10 Canadian, definitely under $10 American. But yeah, prices are already been on the screen, so that's what it is. I'm gonna enjoy this meal, and then we'll see what we have tomorrow. All right, so my wife wasn't feeling the greatest today, so I did uh, some delivery, ordered in. Now, when I was originally looking, I was gonna start ordering a whole bunch of stuff. I was gonna get a little carried away. I was gonna get this sweet and sour pork thing where the pieces are huge and crispy but I realized you know what I don't need that much food I shouldn't be gluttonous so my uh, total order if you can see right there came out to be 55 RMB and I just got myself some dumplings and yes dumplings again dumplings are bomb they're gonna be a reoccurring thing you'll see me have like three or four times a week I love the loud jowl the spiciness that goes with it and that, I mean you get protein and vegetables in that you know that the wrap right so you get all your food categories in my opinion um, and I need protein I'm going to the gym I'm trying to put on weight which for me is really hard to do in China actually because uh, I don't know my eating schedule is just a little different than it is when I'm in Canada and uh, I don't know I just I just need to get used to putting on weight and eating in China but anyways let's get into the food like I said I said I got dumplings and I also got a thing of noodles so uh, let's quickly have a look at the bag you can see the bag right there. It's a delivery bag. Uh, and it's still a few months in and my house has not been fully renovated yet. I got some things done. We're supposed to go get a real sofa. This, not this week, but next week. I'm going on a team building holiday thing this weekend. If you ever get this bag open, we'll get to the food. But yeah, so always been keeping busy. Summertime, things should slow down. Time for me to relax. And uh, ooh, the noodles look pretty good, but it looks like there's a lot more meat on the noodles. Oh no, there's meat in the noodles, like a beef or something. Um, oh, they did not add la jiao. I'm going to have to uh, grab the one my wife made me out of the fridge, but uh, let's have a look, okay? Pop open the lids. Uh, and I don't even know what type of meat that is in there. It actually... I think it's duck or it could be pork or I don't know. But anyways, once again, fried dumplings. They look pretty good. They're nice and big. And then noodles with some meat inside. So yeah, that's what you get for 55 RMB. 
Um, so Tuesday night, I'm going to dig in, and hopefully my wife is feeling a little better tomorrow so we can go to a restaurant again. Um, but other than that, eating in the comfort of your own home is always nice, and there's so many options for delivery on Meituan. At the end of this video, I'll probably run through Meituan and show you guys what I look at, at the list of things. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to dig in, eat this food, and enjoy the rest of my night before I have work again tomorrow. All right, Wednesday's workday is done. Workout put in and time for Wednesday's dinner. So I'm going to a Hong Kong spot. Fairly reasonably priced. Basically look like that. I'm gonna jump in, have a quick look at the menu and uh, get some dinner. So let's see what I get today. My food has arrived and I ordered a main entree and a dessert. My wife got just a drink. She's gonna have a little bit of the dessert I ordered, but the uh, total of everything was 69 RMB. My food alone, 53, and I'm gonna count this dessert as only mine because I could crush one of these all by myself. It's delicious, but here, have a look, so. So my main course is like a peppered steak with the gravy. Um, mushrooms, purple onion, green pepper, and some rice. Maybe a little bit of, uh, I don't know, shallots or something else in there. And then we also have that, it's like French toast with a condensed milk and a, I don't know if it's Ovaltine sauce or chocolate sauce or whatever on it, but yeah, they're both pretty good. Have one more look. Now this I'm looking a lot uh, forward to a lot more than the food yesterday. Yesterday I was looking forward to it, but after trying it, eating it, I never tried that Dong Bay place before. And the dumplings were okay, a little on the chewy side, more than fried. Um, and then the noodles are kind of a letdown. Will I order from there again? Maybe, but I'm gonna try a bunch of other places first. But that's the beauty about having so many different places to choose from at a reasonable price here in China. You get to try some, some are hit, some are miss and uh, just overall a great experience. So anyways, I'm gonna dig into tonight's dinner, enjoy it, and then get ready for another day at work tomorrow and one more meal again. Um, today's Wednesday, right? So we got Thursday, Friday, Saturday to go. Friday's is the one I'm looking most forward to. Um, it's gonna probably be the second most expensive or the most expensive, but it'll give you a good range of, uh, you know, going out for dinner, how much things cost on the low end, the high end, and whatnot, so. I'm not doing the very low end, but I'll explain that at the very end of this whole video. Anyways, time to dig in. All right, so it is Thursday, dinner time, and this place I've been to like four or five times, so I know it's gonna be good. I have some set things I go get when I come here and uh, I'm looking forward to eat. Didn't have a big lunch so uh, definitely gonna pick out here. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside, uh, order my food and I'll show you guys what my Thursday dinner looks like. So this place is like um, a barbecue place. Like, I guess you could tell by some of the pictures but they got more like, I don't know, what is it, Xi'an style food or what province? would you say? Yeah, Xi'an style food, so like spicy noodles, dumplings. I'm not, I probably won't get dumplings today, we'll see. But I'm definitely getting some noodles, some, some chicken. Um, menus, they don't have a paper menu, it's all done through QR code. Like most of the restaurants we went to, the Hong Kong restaurant yesterday, QR code is what I ordered through, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll show you guys what I get and tell you the price, but right now I've got an order. We wait for it to come. I'm starving. Uh, all right, so my first item has arrived, and it is a Chinese burger. And for any of you that have never seen one before, it's a little different. So yeah, um, don't quote me on this, but I believe it's a Xinjiang province specialty. Um, so it's got the meat. Uh, it's got meat in the middle with a nice, like, flaky, crispy pastry on the outside. Sometimes they tend to be a little oily. Um, when I get a, from a place called La Jiao, um, Lan Zhou Lao Mian, I usually get one there, and they're always oily. Um, maybe that's why I get stomach problems from there, or it could just be the food in general, the noodles, but here it's nice and clean. 
more of a reputable restaurant than the small hole in the walls. And the next thing actually came as I was speaking, it is, they are my dumplings. Fried dumplings at that as well. Um, I forgot to ask for some lajao. I'll need to get some, I like it spicy, you know, I'll have to get some lajao when it comes back. So uh, yeah, my third, my noodle dish is on its way, but I'm gonna start eating these first. Um, and then when the noodles get here, I will show you guys. So, so my wife comes, so my wife comes back with her fruit tea and uh, she got it for one reason and that's because Just because she wanted a Sailor Moon cup I mean the fruit tea is delicious, it's got that cheese tea at the top it, it's, it's delicious but still she got it just because of this Sailor Moon cup I yeah. Uh... So my final item came, um, the chicken wings that my wife ordered They don't have them so they're returning the money but anyways Let's look at the first thing. I ended up getting the lajao for the dumplings. It's gonna be delicious. I ate half of this, but uh, here are the noodles. Nice thick belt noodles with a bunch of lajao, other stuff on it. I think they're delicious. I've had them every time I've come here, but uh, I'm gonna finish my dinner. Total cost of my dinner, let me double check. I wrote it down on my phone. Was uh, 53.5 RMB. Now I did buy this from the local convenience store. It's not a beer, it's just like a strawberry juice. It's on sale for like 2.5 RMB. So I guess the total is like 55.5 RMB for the day, but still eating in a restaurant, very reasonable. Um, I'm gonna dig in, finish, and uh, wait until tomorrow, I guess. Thursday down and done with, Friday and Saturday left. Friday tomorrow is gonna be, like I said, probably my favorite day of the week. You guys will see why. All right, Friday is here, it's the weekend, and tonight we're doing one of my favorite, hot pot. Now I'm pretty sure you already know what a hot pot is, but it's uh, just cuts of beef or other meats you order, dipped into a boiling pot, water, and then you get all these sauces on the side. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna order a bunch of different cuts of meat, maybe a combo set, um, and get all the sauces, and I'll show you guys what we get once we get in, but have a look at the kitchen quickly. It's quite yummy and quite famous here in China, but anyways, we're going in. I'll show you some sauces in a second, but uh, let us sit down, get a table, and order some food. All right, so look at the sauces. So first you got like the vegetables, uh, I don't know. Then uh, this is the best one. I don't even know what it is, but it's delicious. It's got some poison sauce. Peanut, oh, this is sesame, ginger and garlic, peanut sauce. So I'm gonna pick up some of the, the sides, the sauces, and get back to the table. So first, the soup base has arrived, and a few of the other things we've ordered. Um, so let's take a look at the soup base. So you have some corn in there. It's a coconut soup base. It's got some bitter melon and these Chinese red things. I don't remember what they're called. Didn't want to do spicy, even though I do love a good spicy Chinese hot pot. I'm going on a trip tomorrow, like a little mini vacation, team building, and I don't want to have digestion problems or you know any chance of it. So yeah, I need a good night's sleep. That's what I got. Second, let's have a look at the sauces. First one I got is, it's like a seafood type sauce. I forget what it is, um, but it put some roasted garlic in it with green onions, then we got the peanut sauce with more you know, roasted garlic and a touch of cilantro. Roasted garlic makes these sauces just pop. I gotta have that crunch, it's so good. Then you got the ginger with garlic and oil. That's really good as well, and some hoisin sauce. Now for a drink, we got this like, uh, I don't know, it's like a lemon lime, like a sour type juice. Uh, I got a sip. Had it last time. It's not as cold as it was last time, but it's good, it's sour, it's tasty. I didn't realize it came in a big bottle last time, so I ordered a soda and this, and we had way too much to drink, but uh, yeah, tastes delicious. Now for a side, before I get into the meat, um, my wife ordered you know, some, some lettuce here. I'm not gonna touch that, but I have this spicy cucumber salad, which I do love. And some of the meat, or maybe, is this all the meat, or some of the meat? All the meat has arrived. Um, these are like some shrimp balls. They, don't look that great right now because they're raw, but I'm sure they'll look a lot better when they're cooked. 
We need to wait for this to boil, and then you do some shabu shabu, so like five to 10 seconds per slice of meat, but let's have a look at the meat. The lighting could be a lot better, but there's one, two, this one looks really good, layered with fat. Three, four, Anyways, yeah, that's the Chinese hot pot dinner. Now this so far has been the most expensive dinner of the week, but I mean, it is Friday, it's Friday, Friday. Gotta have fun on Friday, gotta go out on Friday. Whether you're going out with loved ones or going out with friends um, or even just by yourself, Friday is the main day of the week. I feel like you should treat yourself. Saturday a little bit too. Um, treat myself tomorrow Saturday, but Saturday tomorrow's gonna be a little bit of a different situation. Like I said, going on a team building, away on a vacation, so. This is the biggest. Once I finish eating, I'll kind of wrap it up for you. And just in case we order one other thing, um, but yeah, I'll wrap it up for you, tell you the final price and everything. Now, if I do want some carbs, I'll probably just at home, if I'm a little hungry still, eat, eat a package of instant noodles. But hey, this is, the main focus today was the protein. Hit the gym again. Need that protein in the body it's for energy. And uh, yeah, I love hot pot. I'm gonna dive in and eat now. So see you in a bit. All right, so I enjoyed my dinner. I kind of forgot to uh, film the conclusion. So the final total of everything was 243 RMB. So for a half, half in it between myself and my wife, we can call it 122 RMB per person, even though I did eat a little bit more meat than she did. I'm just, we're just gonna take it halves here anyways, as if you went by yourself or whatever, right? Got half the amount of food. Anyway, so stay tuned till tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day of the week, Saturday. I have one le uh, day left for dinner. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about, you know, the things in this video that you could change a little bit to make it cheaper or to make it more expensive. And my whole reasoning behind why I ate what I ate. And yeah, so anyways, I'll, I'll fill you in tomorrow. So one last day, let's get it to tomorrow, Saturday. So, unfortunately, it's not Saturday because last Saturday during the team building, I ended up getting the stomach flu. So I can't really give you an idea of what it would be like going out with a bunch of friends and ordering food, um, the cost of it that way. But instead, I got something just as good, and that is uh, Lanzhou Lao Mian. So this is Lanzhou New Rou Mian place. Um, basically, it's like Xi'an type food. Um, uh, I'll show you what it is. So... We got the Yan Rou Mian, which is the lamb noodles, and it's got like cumin in it, you know, onions, peppers and stuff. Really good. I used to live off this when I just first moved to China. Then we got the cucumbers again. I love this cucumber with like vinegar and chili oil. Then I also got one more Chinese hamburger to add in more protein. Now, as I mentioned, I used to live off this stuff. Um, when I first, you know, first, after first year in China, I used to get uh, Yan Rou Mian plus like four Qingdao beers. The Yan Rou Mian would be... Um, uh, well, uh, 15 RMB. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting caught up. And the Ching Tao's would be 2.5 each, so another 10. I wouldn't eat this at the Lanzhou Lao Mian place because obviously you don't want to drink beer there. They're Muslim. Um, so I went back to my house, uh, ate it in, in the night, got a good buzz from the beers, and got fed for 25 RMB. It's a little more expensive now. Um, I spent 60 RMB on this. Also, because the ongoing joke is if you get the cheaper Lanzhou Lao Mian places, um, you tend to have to go to the washroom within the next hour. There's a lot of oil and stuff in it. And yeah, it's an ongoing joke. But if you find a place that's a little higher rated on uh, Dianping or Meituan and a little more expensive, it tends to be a little bit cleaner and you don't have that issue. But that's my dinner for tonight. I'm going to dig in. I'm going to enjoy. And then I'll give you a recap about the whole week and a little more information about everything. So time to eat. Okay, so little recap here. Let me address the prices now. I'll pop it up on my phone. Day one, 97 RMB. Day two, 47. Day three, 55. Day four, 53. Day uh, five, 56. Day six, 122. And day seven, 61. For a weekly total of 491 RMB. Pretty affordable for a full week of just eating uh, dinner at restaurants or ordering in from restaurants. Now, for cuisine options, I, uh, there's a, still a ton of Chinese cuisine that I didn't even dive into, like Chengdu food, Sichuan food, um, could have had Hainese chicken rice, could have had Peking duck. On top of that, all the places I ordered from, I could have chose many of the other dishes to have a look at. Um, and on top of that, you know, just from those styles, there's many other shops of the same cuisine that cook things just a little different. So never a dull moment when you're trying the food. 
Now, price I want to talk about. Um, yes, I chose to eat what I like. If I wanted to make it a lot cheaper, I could have ordered meals that are like 20 to 25 RMB. Um, but for me, a healthy person, active person who goes to the gym, I kind of need more protein. And I'm just not trying to get by. So, uh, so I just, you know, I ate what I desired because you know not everyone wants to live on a super budget all the time so this kind of gives you a fair idea of what the prices are like if you're just eating whatever you know I could have also made it a lot more expensive I could have ordered some really fancy food gone to more fancy restaurants so it gives you kind of a mid-range or just a range of what it's realistically like and uh, yeah I think that's all I had to say um, so yeah, hope the video was enough and uh, a little informative for you guys. The wind's picking up, a tropical storm is headed in. It's already hit the Philippines, but yeah, I gotta get to the gym, get a workout in, go home and enjoy my weekend. So, till next time guys, take it easy.